Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, it's another new week, it's another new video. In today's video, I'm going to move on from where one of the last ones I did a few videos back. I did a guide to beginners for whiskey. I'm just going to move that on to the next level now. So once you've went through all those kind of early whiskies, your 10 year olds, your 12 year olds, and you're ready for that next step, this is where you would head up. This is the ones that I'm going to take off my bar. I know and I'm conscious guys that there's lots of whiskies other than these, but these are just purely ones that I've got on my bar at the minute. And it's really helped me through my journey and how I progress through whiskies. So let's kick in with this. Uh, probably see I'm sporting a new hat. Uh, yeah, this was generously gifted to me by Jason at the Mash and Drum. Big thanks for that, Jason. A um, few other bits and pieces, but they'll come up in later videos. Um, but I'm really chuffed with my new hat. I'm not going to wear it in every video, guys, but I just thought I'd, as hobbies to Jason, I just thought I'd wear it in this one. So let's let's move on to the first one of these whiskies. I'm going to get through. I think there's probably 10 to 15 bottles, so I'll whisk through them quite quickly. I'm not going to get into them any real depth. I'll just give a quick kind of overview. Um, but I'm having a wee dram while I'm doing that. So. The first bottle, so once you're ready to take that first step, as you can see, I quite enjoy this one. This is the Glen Cadam 15. This is a Highland single malt. Uh, beautiful stuff, very, very fruity, very sweet. They do a fantastic range at Glen Cadam. Uh, I think price wise, this one I think is at £55 a bottle. So you're moving up in price points as well. As you go through that journey, you realise that your prices go up a little bit. Um, they don't have to go up too much guys, this is very very reasonable for the quality of whiskey that's in the bottle. It's unchill filtered, it's natural colour, it's beautifully presented at 46% ABV and this is a definite bottle. Uh, I think Ralphie did this in one of his whiskies of the year, I think it might have been 2017-2018 maybe something like that. But after that it went off the shelves for a bit, but I'm glad to see that it's back. So that's the next step on your journey, Glen Cadam 15. I have done a full range of the Glen Cadam videos guys, so the, the core range, if you want to go back and check them out, you can do that. So I'll give you a little bit of insight to all those bottles. Glen Cadam 15. So moving on to the Glen Cadam 15, we're going to head to... This is a special bottle for me guys. This is the Gordon and the McPhail collection and it's another Highland single malt whiskey but the difference, this is from Val Blair. It's 21 years of age and it's bottled at 43% ABV. So I've come back a little bit in ABV but this, this bottle for me and I think if you have watched the channel regularly you'll probably realise this is, was my whiskey of the year last year. Uh, it was very generously donated to me in a sample and I went out and bought a couple of bottles. I'm, Sad to say I'm down to the last bottle of this again, so I'm holding fire when I'm going to crack this open, but I don't think it'll be too late. Yeah, this is 43% ABV. Um, again, this is this is lots of vanilla notes. Uh, it was fruity, it was sweet. Uh, and lots of tropical notes, bananas, um, apricots, apples. There's lots and lots of stuff in this one. I enjoyed it that much, as I say, I had it as my whiskey of the year last year, guys. This is a little bit pricier, you're heading up to about the £90 mark for this one. I think I paid about £90 for this. Um, but for me, it's 21 years of old, 20, 21 years of age. Uh, beautiful stuff. Um, probably realise, guys, I've got the doors open today because the weather's a wee bit nice. It's the first time for a long time I've had the weather, so I may get a bit of traffic coming back now and then. Where I live, there's not usually a lot of traffic, so hopefully there's not too much. But watch my luck, there'll be loads today. But yeah, number two up on this list is the Bal Blair Gordon McPhail 21 year old. Super, super stuff. Okay, let's stay a little bit here. So I'm staying really on kind of bourbon casks at the minute. Uh, this one is the Aran, fantastic distillery. It's the first distillery that I ever visited uh, on the Isle of Aran. Fantastic, did the tour, did the whiskey tasting, did a lot of it. I have collected a lot of bottles of Aaron in my time. Uh, I'll probably pop some pictures up to these and go through these. I have got lots of them. They've, they do 
predominantly bourbon, but they do sherry casks. They do peed. They've now just opened the second distillery on Arran, which is the Lag Distillery, which concentrates more on the peated whiskies. And I do have a few of those as well, which is the Macri Moor. Um, but yeah, no, this again, this is bottled at 57, 50, sorry, 55.7. Uh, this one is, it's initially matured in first full ex-bourbon ex barrels, being transferred for a secondary maturation into smaller American oak casks for a minimum of 18 months, folks. Um, uh, this process creates greater contact between the whiskey and the oak for a much more intense maturation. And I can vouch for this, guys, this is a real intense whiskey. Again, there is a full selection of these. Uh, this is batch one that I've got here. I think in the old bottles I've got up to batch five. And then as most of you might know, the Aaron went through a wee packaging um, toward the end of last year. And they've done the little shorter dumpy bottles. I must admit, for me, I prefer these bottles. Uh, I like the style. Um, I just think as I collect the bothies now, then they don't look that great on the shelf because the bottles have changed. Um, but that's a minor characteristic guys um, but it's all about the whiskey that's in this I know these are great for the shelves because it's the kind of right height sometimes I think the smaller ones you can go away with smaller shelves but which is great but let's not get into shelves let's stick on the whiskey absolutely fantastic stuff this is taking you up now into kind of cast strength whiskies um, which is beautiful again this is ex bourbon first fill fantastic stuff so where are we going now Okay, let's do a little bit of sherry. Everyone knows I'm a sherry man. Um, let's see what we've got under here. I'm going to head over to one of my favourite sherry distilleries, which is Glengoyne. This is the Glengoyne The Legacy Series, um, Chapter 1, 2019. I'm patiently waiting for the 2021 to come out. It's not quite arrived yet unless I've missed something. If someone knows it's out, just drop me a comment down below and let me know. But again, this one, guys, actually bought probably four or five bottles of this one. I did share a lot of this, um, but again, this is typical sherry. Everything about Glengoyne is sherry casks. Um, fantastic stuff. Again, this one's bottled. It's jumping up again to 48% ABV, which gives you that extra little bit of bit of heat and a little bit of power and a little bit of intensity and a little bit more flavour but it's still beautiful beautiful stuff once once you find Glengoyne I think at some point you will I say again this is 55 pounds um, so it's in that that's that next kind of price point but then once you start getting into your, your sherry bombs and your sherry whiskies you may end up with this one which is the 21 year old so this is now going to probably take you around about the hundred pound mark if you can get it on offer it may just drop a little bit under it but again this one is at 43 percent it's lower abv but for me they've got this absolutely 100 percent bang on this is right at the right kind of abv for me uh it's fantastic stuff another another sherry bomb um and then once if you're feeling really really you want to get into glengoyne and you want to spend some real money then you're back to the teapot dram. Fantastic little history on these. I think I've reviewed most of the, I've reviewed all of these three, I think. So again, if you want to go back and get more into the tasting notes, you can do that one. But this one here has got a real, real interesting story, which I'd, I'd love you to go and watch the video, guys, and check that out. Um, but again, this one was, I bought this last, this was the back six. Back seven's out now. Uh, I'll come on to back seven in a minute. Um, yeah, I, got, I bought a few bottles of this. I shared a lot of it last year. Drunk a lot of it last year. Yeah, this this one is a uh, first fill Oloroso casks, uh, and this is a whopping fifty nine point three percent ABV. But the little interesting thing with this guy is this one was ninety pounds last year, uh, and I'm probably sure a lot of you are aware that the the back seven came out this year. It's a little bit of a kind of not so great news about it as it's jumped up to about 120 pounds so there's a big increase on that that bottle this year so i actually held off until whether i was going to get the back seven this year um but some generous folk out there in the whiskey community sent me some samples of the back seven 
Uh, yeah, so you'll be pleased to know after, guys, after trying those samples, I've now actually purchased myself a couple of bottles of this, and it's, as we speak, it's on its way. So that's the the kind of sherry monsters, which is Glen Goyne. Uh, yeah, ranging from £55 to, if you go to the back seven now, it's kind of £120, but that's part of the journey guys this is what you'll probably find happens as you progress in whiskey is hopefully at some point your budget might start to increase with it um okay let's have a little sip of this ah wonderful get thirsty there moving on to the next one i'm going to head on to glenallachie so this is the Glen Allakey 10, cast strength this one, so it's moving up in ABV, this is 57.1 and this again is natural colour and it's non-chill filtered just as we like it. This has been distilled by Billy Walker, previously known as the Glen Dronach Master Distiller, he's now moved himself to Glen Allakey and this was one of the first kind of uh, of the core range that they put out from Glen Allakey. Again, this is round about the £50 mark. So see you're moving up into cash strength whiskey now, so you're getting a little bit more a little bit more intensity and a little bit more flavour. And as I say, your journey is just progressing through that. Uh, and then once you do that, that see that's batch one that. I do actually have batch two as well. I do believe batch three is out as well, guys. This batch two is 54.8, uh, and I do believe batch three is out now, but I've not got around to picking that up yet. So that's that's the Glen Allakey. Again, you're just looking for a little bit more flavour and a little bit more intensity, and that's where you're heading with that. So then you kind of cast strengths. So now, guys, I'm going to move on. I'm heading probably to my favourite region last year. I know some of you guys on your whiskey journeys, you can end up maybe in bourbon or sherry or a bit of both, bourbon and sherry. But I know there's a lot of peaty guys out there. I'm not quite a peaty guy yet, so I'm, I'm gradually working my way through it at the minute. But Campbelltown is my region of choice at the minute. That's a, a region that I seem to have elevated to and it seems to be where all my purchases come from at the minute. So I'm heading over to Springbank. If you've coming through your whiskey journey you might not have come across Springbank yet uh, you may have come across like the Springbank 10 this is where you now move on to the next level and it's going to be this one here which will be the Springbank 15 real real nice looking bottle that fantastic whiskey see this is back to 46% ABV uh, all natural colour, all naturally presented. Springbank do everything from distilling it to bottling it all in house, so it's fantastic. Again, it's another £50 bottle, 50, 55 pounds. Uh, really, really superb. And then once you you get that bug for Springbank, then you just want to get more of it and more of it. The downside really is because the price is so fantastic and it's great, well, super value for money. They, all, they often sometimes become difficult to get a hold of. It's not so bad with this 15 year old and the 10 year old, they're pretty much easy enough to get a hold of. But when you move on to the next one and your journey really takes a turn, you may want to be heading down this road, which is the cast strength 12 year old spring bank. So this is coming in at 57.1. This is the October release of last year. So again, I'm having a good time with that one. I have reviewed both of these as well. Uh, so then on that spring bank and you're into the sherry again, your kind of sherry bug grabs a hold of you and you look into these two. You have the hazel bun, which is another uh, version of spring bank. Uh, this is the triple distilled version. These are real sherry bombs. Triple, as I say, triple distilled. I think the, this is the Hazelburn 13 year old Oloroso sherry casks and it's coming in at 47.1. You might find these a little bit more difficult to get a hold of guys now. So um, that's one of the other things. This is the 14 year old Oloroso cask and that's at 49.3. So that's a little bit higher. 
So you might find also as part of your journey and your, your learning curve that you're finding out now is that you may have initially, when you get into whiskey, you think, yeah, I can pick up anything I want, whenever I want. You tend to find with these bottles, it tends to be really, really difficult now because these, these are limited editions, these ones. Uh, I think initially this was of 9,900 bottles and this one, the 13-year-old original one, was 12,000 bottles. So believe me, these are the... the 13 one would be almost impossible to get hold of now unless you went to auction and the 14 now one there may be a few kicking around but i think that's getting really limited now but you'll find that now that then your auction things come in and you start chasing whiskey and you try to find a bottle how will you get a hold of it so you really need to get your spider senses out and find out when these bottles are coming out and then the best places to get a hold of them so that's that's what's happening and just another while i'm on the subject of spring bank i've just had a bottle delivered recently um i recently joined the spring bank society uh, and they do a, a special society bottling i think they do four a year and i luckily timed this one nicely uh this is the hazel Bomb 11 uh, and this one's coming in at a whopping 54.2 percent abv and there was 1,314 bottles of this one. Uh, I think I paid about £55 from this as well. As you can see on the label here, guys, these are the kind of Campbelltown malts from Springbank. And it's the, I don't know if you can pick them up on there. You've got the Springbank, you've got Long Row, you've got Hazelburn, and you've got Kilkerran. So th those are the kind of brands that come out of the Springbank distillery. Uh, they're all different in each way. You've got your peated ones, you've got your heavily peated, you've got your bourbon casks, your sherry casks, you've got all sorts. So they do it all at Springbank, and I say it's all done in house. So, as I've mentioned, Kilcarran, I've got some Kilcarran coming later on because that's definitely going to go into your progression of your journey. So, again, guys, let me just get rid of some of these bottles. So, staying on Campbelltown. Which where we are now guys, so I'm going to head over to Glen Scotia. This bottle's appeared on quite a few of my lists this year. This is the Glen Scotia 15. So th the reason this bottle appears a lot is because it's, I've bought a lot of it, I've drunk a lot of it and I've shared a lot of it. So it's fantastic this bottle. This is coming in at 46% ABV it's non-chill filtered surprisingly it doesn't see anything about color but i'm not awfully i'm reliably informed from people in the know that they don't they don't reckon that glen scotia color any of the whiskies so but without this saying on the bottle i can only assume there may be some coloring in this but it hasn't detracted from this whiskey because i have drunk a lot of it and i have shared a lot of it um and i say it's the bottle that i bought most last year and it become, it's becoming my kind of go-to everyday sipper, uh, which is this, lots of vanillas, lots of toffees. Again, it's bourbon casked, and I'm picking lots of tropical notes from this one, lots of bananas and pineapple. Uh, I don't tend to get a lot of tropical notes from a lot of whiskey, um, but I definitely pick it up a lot in this one. A uh, little bit of touch of smoke in the background, but not a lot. Um, but as I say, once you get through into Glen Scotia, then you want to kind of progress as well. So a couple of bottles that I've got here that you might want to try and track down. And that's exactly what I did in my journey as I started looking after bottles and started tracking some down. So the next one up would be the 2018 Malt Festival bottle. Uh, this is a 10-year-old Ruby Port finish. It's the 2008 and it's a peated vintage. Um, and I see this one's coming in at a whopping 57.8%, but it doesn't drink like it's 57.8. It's real sweetie, it's real fruity, it's real, it's just a beautiful, beautiful malt. Uh, just whizzing through here. Um, yeah, wonderful whiskey. The, the other one, which is the 2019 uh, festival bottle, is the rum cask finish. This is peated as well. This is coming in at 51.3 and this is a 16 year old bottle. So again, they're all real, real nice bottles. Everything we're doing at Glen Scotia, I'm, I was loving Glen Scotia all year last year. Um, kind of took my eye off the ball a little bit with Kilkenning because I was enjoying, enjoying Glen Scotia so much. 
Um, but now I'm back on track and again with these bottles you'll probably find 55 pounds for this one 50 55 these again maybe a little bit you may have to kind of chase these down and track them down and find them around somewhere uh auction would be a good starting point to get them or if you've got friends who have them share them with your colleagues guys or your friends or whatever your whiskey mates fantastic stuff so that's that's the glen scotia uh next part so let's see where we go from here again i'm staying on campbelltown let me reach down here now so campbelltown this is where you would be on your probably your starter beginning journey of whiskey you'd start with this one kill care in 12 30 to 35 to 40 pounds a bottle <coughs> Outstanding value at 46% ABV, non-chill filtered and natural colour. This was one of the bottles that I realised Kilcairn. I'm an avid collector of Kilcairn, so I've got a lot of the real, the, the old work in progress range. I have all of those. Uh, I'll probably pop a little photograph of those into this just to get an idea. Uh, yeah, I have got all that Kilcairn range um, working through the work in progress, and I've been really with Kilcairn from probably the very beginning, uh, and, and it's one of my favourite distilleries. So see, I lost the ball a little bit. A lot. I lost the plot a little bit with this last year by following. Can I get hooked up in Glen Scotia? So yeah, the kill Karen is where you would your beginner, but then you're moving on to the next step, and that's a couple of bottles here. So you're moving on to the eight-year-old cast strength. <coughs> this is the bourbon casks, and this is fifty-six point two. I think this is batch one. This, uh, as again, you can see. I'm really enjoying that. Look at that beautiful colour. Uh, absolutely fantastic. As I say, it's a whopping 56.2. So you're back into cast strength whiskies again. And I don't need to say too much about this one because I've I've raved about this one all year. <laughs> look at that. This is the these are both eight-year-olds, but look at the difference in them. There's no mistaking which is which. This is the bourbon cask finish, and this is the Oloroso Sherry cask finish. Uh, this is coming in again at a whopping 57.1. I'm noticing me Campbelltown Springbank in particular that this 57.1 seems to be a kind of pretty much standard range of their ABVs. The cast strength 12 is coming in at 57.1. So there's a few of them that I've noticed are coming in with that ABV, but if you've watched my Kilcairn video, then you'll know how much I've been drooling over this whiskey. And I've been drooling over it all year so far. Um, and as I say, I managed to be lucky enough to pick up a few bottles of it. Um, so that that's pretty much me done with Campbelltown. Journey-wise, you're looking again around about that kind of 35 to 40 pounds. These are kind of 50 to 55, depending on where you get them from. And there is a little bit of batch. If you watch the bottles, guys, there's kind of batch variances. Then the way you're telling them which is which is the ABV levels. They have different ABVs on any, any particular bottle. So let's get rid of these. And we're heading on to some sherry bombs now, some sherry monsters. I've got a little one behind me. Just a little sip, guys. You probably realise in my glass what I'm drinking. As per usual, it's the Kilcarran 8 sherry. Let's have another little sip of this beauty. Fantastic. I think we're coming into the I think we're coming into the end of this now we're heading towards the finish line but I can't miss these ones off we're heading still on sherry bombs this is the Caledonia from Edradour the 12 year old again 46% ABV in this one but this is really really complex this is moody it's mean it's dirty it's dusty it's sweet it's savoury it's it's got it all this I recently picked this one up and yes guys I have reviewed it so if you want to go back and have a look but yeah this is super super stuff I'm looking to pay Edradour a little bit of a visit 
uh, over the next couple of weeks. I have contacted them and I'm disappointed to say that there's no kind of tours in March. So I'm going to have to go up and just do a visit to the distillery and have a little look through the, the whiskey shop and stuff like that. So maybe take some footage of the because it's a beautiful little picturesque distillery. But no, this is absolutely fantastic. I see I'm enjoying this one very, very much. But I'm back on the sherry. Let's let's move on to something where you you won't be surprised what's coming next. On your initial initial journey when you start out, you may have come across the Glen Drawn Up 12. You're obviously then going to move on to its big brother, the 15 year old revival. That's where you're going to head next. Again, another sherry monster. This is the new revival. This is Rachel Barry's. Uh, 15 year old revival they've tweaked it slightly from the original one the original old revival was billy walkers and that is the they look absolutely identical guys the only difference you'll find is on the tubes one of them will say billy walker and one of them will say rachel barry they're both bottled at 46 percent abv but Rachel Barry's has the Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso finish and the Billy Walker one is presumably all in Oloroso sherry cast maturation. But again, both fantastic whiskies. If you're an avid follower of the channel then you'll know that I have an affiliation with this bottle. This is the bottle that changed my life when it came to whiskey. Turned me from a collector to a drinker or a sipper responsible drinking I may add then you're ready for this one you're up into the big brother again this is the the daddy of them all for me this is the Glen Drawn Up 18 um, look at the colour of that one absolutely phenomenal colour um, rich dark fruits sherry monster sherry bomb you can call it whatever you want it is just look at this you see this is a Billy Walker one I've got here uh, do, 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 do. Fudgy fruit, cherries, wow, complex, stewed fruits, allspice, walnuts, it's, this has everything guys. This this is a particularly good year for the Glendronach 18 because I'm sure if you're not aware, but there's an issue with some of these Glendronach bottles that the older ones have actually got older juice in them. This is the last year that you're going to come across the the Glendronach 18 with older juice in it. The new Glendronach 18s are going to be a typical Glendronach 18. So if you're into sherry bombs, price-wise you're looking, this is easily readily available, picked up about 55 to 60 pounds. Again, it's not going to break the bank. This one's increasing a little bit now and it's becoming a little bit harder to get a hold of at reasonable money because I think it's now hitting the £100 mark here in the UK. Not sure what it's like in the States or in other whiskey regions. Um, pounds, dollars, euros. I know it's coming in close to the £100 mark at the minute. This one, if you want to get a hold of the old revival and to tell the difference, it's, I say it's predominantly, it's, this is exclusively Oloroso Sherry and it'll have Billy Walker's name on the back of it. To pick up one of these options, you're, in, you're looking at somewhere 90 to about 120 pounds to pick up some of those. But in my opinion, it's certainly still worth that kind of money. So that's me guys, that's pretty much me done and dusted, I think. I don't think I've got any more to go through. I think that's a decent range. As I say, these are all readily available on my bar. These helped me go through my whiskey journey and take me to the next level. As anything guys, it's a journey, there's another level still to come, so I'm not too sure what's going to come next or when it's going to come next, but there's no rush. Let's see, these have all taken 12, 14, 15, 18, 21 years in the bottle and the cask, so there's no, there's no rush. Take your time, find your way through them. That's me, I'm passing the baton to you guys. As you've probably realised, I haven't done my housekeeping, which I'm going to pop on now. If you're a returning subscriber, then thanks very much and welcome back. If you've so happened to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to consider hitting that subscribe button down below. As always guys, just to remind you, a general reminder, it doesn't cost you anything, it's completely free and you're helping the channel massively on its way to the 2K. 
don't forget to click the bell be kept up to date with future notifications or whenever i'm putting out a new video you can also catch me on twitter you can also catch me on facebook you can also catch me on instagram and we've just recently launched patreon so if you feel that you want to ever pop through and have a look at the patreon page please feel free guys that'd be fantastic and that's pretty much me guys that's till another one as i always say the pleasure is in the sharing let me just say yeah over to you guys um i know there's lots of whiskies these are just purely the whiskies off my bar i know there's lots of whiskies out there guys so over to you if you've got other whiskies that will help somebody progress through their whiskey journey and take them to the next level just pop your list down below i'm always interested to see what other whiskies are out there uh, i know i've not tried them all i know i've got lots more to try so it also helps me as well so again feel free guys pop your list down below drop any comments as I always say, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend. As always guys, the pleasure is in the sharing and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Thanks very much, bye bye. Well, thanks for hanging on to the end, guys. Just to let you know, I'm surrounded with beautiful whiskey. I'm loving every one of these bottles. Um, just for you guys for hanging on to the end, I'm going to drop a little gift pack. I'm going to put five of these together, drop them in a, pack, in a pack. If you want a chance of picking up this pack of whiskey, then just drop me a comment in the, the bottom just asking for samples, please and i'll do a draw on one of my live streams upcoming live streams i'll probably leave i'll leave it on for about a week and then i'll do it i'm going to have a live stream coming up in the next couple of days so i probably won't get into this one it'll probably be in the towards the middle of the month um just pop in there that you would want to get a hold of one of the, the box of samples and i'll draw that out then so all in all guys that's me thank you very much i'm surrounded with all my beauties I'm looking forward to just carrying on drinking all these and taking my journey to the next level. So all in all guys, that's me. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.